That's it right now. Oh. All right, then, guys and ladies. Now we're keeping up with the tradition of the band because we're shooting a live DVD out of this one. So it's time also for the open letter. I might show a little bit of bad taste with this, but I'll do it anyway. Okay, this guy is talking a little bit, I guess. And uh, are you Dear, talking? insert wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Um, I know it's our anniversary, and you've been working in the kitchen for three hours, making us a really fine meal. I think it was Coco Ben. But, you know, since we're in Germany, I've gone to okay, find let's myself. Stop. One, one second, just let's stop a second. I want to say, like, I was thinking to do something crazy, like doing a marathon or watching a movie. Or multiple movies I wanted to start with something easy like I don't know let's watch the first Lord of the Ring together and I just do uh, a reaction just watching it um, I don't I cannot post the movie here. maybe there's a little bit of sounds in the background maybe I can get away with that and I wanted to actually if you wanted to see that like a three-hour sitting here looking at the movie and we can watch the movie together for instance you know like you you put the movie on yourself when I start and we go through and through. I'm wondering if someone of you wants to see that. Anyway, let's go back to this. Boom. I'm currywurst. I love sausages. I hate That's sausages. romanticized. First of all, always beautiful riffs, amazing double bass with the drum. And then, you know, I'm really starting to like more and more. I don't have a, a you know, a sort of failed with the old singer, the new singer. I don't know enough. I did a reaction, I think, on the, on the original singer, Tarja. And uh, now we have here Flor, which is actually also from the Netherlands. I forgot where she lives, but she's from here. I didn't know she's a singer of local bands, which they were really doing good around the area. And now she's the front lady of Nightwish. And I really love to see in the audience all the girls, you know, looking up to, to her. It's the same thing, you know, like for guys when you look at, I don't know, the front man, you know, the, of your favorite band. You know, you really look up to those people. And I have to see like this tall, imposing woman with this beautiful voice, just inspiring a new generation of girls. To me, this is awesome. Also because they're singing live. She's a great singer and uh, the band is playing live. And, you know, to affect an audience like this, to me, is just already like, yes, this is what it's all about. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> dynamic you know you go from the double bass like really speeding up and giving that fast pace all of a sudden slows down a little bit with those more hammering like notes with the music with the voice really bringing the vibe to that energetic stance which I really enjoy like the power that exudes this type of music 
and they do it so well together playing tight it, it all you know i said every time every time i see this type of music you know metal gets a lot of shit from uh you know because it's not popular in the mainstream because it's always seen by like a sort of like ah you're satanist whatever and the truth to be told is uh, the 99 percent of metal even though deal with this sort of imaginary a little bit of uh, of death and and slaughter and all that kind of like skeletons and whatever uh, in fact at the core it's an introspectional music it's an introspectional music that uh, as death mostly as an awareness because we are moving all towards that and i think it plays with this concept a lot and it plays with that imagery a lot but in fact at the core it's a music of truly introspection of self-discovery and that's why so many people relate to this music uh, and and it's such a mis it's it's so misunderstood it's so misunderstood i mean sometimes when you look at pop music it's so much imbued with coarse messages superficiality with like even wrong ethics if we want to speak in that way you know and, and here there's so much more value and 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 depth if you go search i'm not saying that all meta music is deep not at all there's a lot of shit also there but but i think by nature it's more introspectional that's an opinion anyway let's continue but <laughs> This is straight sepultura. stop right here a right here. little bit of distortion in floor's voice and also the bass player it's awesome at doing this more screaming type of thing it really matches well together so far i really like the different dynamics in this song there's a little bit of sepultura in that very heavy riff in between uh, and i also like her she's climbing up to a very higher note i don't know like i'm a singer but i'm not a vocal coach specialist and I don't read music unfortunately but she was really doing this beautiful climb and she has it really with good sustain the flexibility of this the, of her voice it's really apparent here that she's doing so with ease doing those climbs and and, and belting and uh, yeah I mean <laughs> that's probably the reason why she's the front woman of this band uh, yes great so far awesome let's continue Oh wow, it's taking totally a different direction. Is this another song? It feels like it's another song, because all of a sudden it's just going somewhere else.
Santa. This is some kind of like siren exercise, you know, where you like. There went no Rammstein on us here with the firework. That's it? All right, I don't know if that was part of the same song romanticized because all of a sudden it changes. I was a little bit distracted, but after a moment of like, you know, doubt, you really get into this more powerful dynamic at the end of the song. But I really enjoyed the whole first part of Romanticize with different dynamics and the breakdown and so on and so forth. Really nice song, really nice song. I really like the part where it resembles a little bit of the Sepultura uh, with that heavy riffing and double basing. Uh, wonderful show. I mean, this is live. They perform live tight, tight, tight. It's just amazing. I never tired to, you know, take my ass off to those 